Living Become is a story about the Ethiopian Jews, a story of a child who needs to be saved and come to Israel. And this story speaks about the Operation Moses that took place in 1984. Uh, Operation Moses. Operation Moses right. in 1984. And that time, many of the Ethiopian Jews made a journey from Ethiopia to Sudan, to many places like uh, Gadarif. And many people lost their lives in the ways. And uh, when people arrived to Umwakuba camps, refugee camps in Sudan, they had to stay there for many, many years until they were lifted to Israel. In those refugee camps, you have many people from different continents. You have from, uh, you know, you have Jews, uh, Christians, and Muslims. And this story is a story of mothers. Mothers that need to save children who didn't commit any crime in this world. So through the character of nine years old boy, we understand the struggle of Ethiopian Jews and what they have been through in order to be in the promised land. When we did the journey from the villages, we didn't understand about the people that living in the country of Israel. We came without to understand the politics and we came without to understand that there is other people who are living on that land. So try to imagine the first time that we saw white people, we were scared and we thought that they got a skin problem. And when we discovered that they are Jewish, we were much more terrified to discover there is a Jewish, a white Jewish people, because we thought that we aren't the only Jewish that exist in this world. So when you're doing this kind of journey, walking in the desert, you're feeling like Moses when he took his Israel from Egypt and we had to wander 14 years in the desert. And then those who are pure enough will be in the Holy Land. Quite tough, but uh, I would try to, try to imagine this. You need to be in one place. So people saying to you, if you want to arrive to one place, you need to do the first step. And after you did the first step, we will be there to help you to cross the second step. And what was the first step? The first step, the Ethiopian Jews, they were responsible to do the first step from the villages to uh, Sudan, to refugee camps. From refugee camps, they will be lifted. So the Ethiopians crossed the uh, country through Kenya, and many of those people died. But in the way, it's, it's a very strong uh, patriarchal family. It's, it's, it's a very strong uh, uh, society. And in the ways even, many people, when they lost their life, they, many, many people change also their perception, their understanding about this kind of journey. And it's, it's very hard because in Israel, in order to change the society, I would say, you need to do it through the law, through right. someone who can speak behalf. And the Ethiopian community, we don't have that representative, but we have thousands of organizations that are trying to make changes, trying to do a lobby in the Knesset. Uh, but I assume that in the years to come, we need to produce one leader who can combine uh, the reality and the vision. What is to live and what is to become? To live where and to become what?